So we have a display here. Um, we do a cash app, and you got to see the purchase, and you're good to go. So this, this aircraft is uh, F-15. F F so. Oh, that's, yeah. I thought that was a notebook. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm doing video. I have a YouTube channel. So oh, okay. Ask if I can show it. You want to do a YouTube? Um, can I have a video also with you guys and ask questions? Is that okay? Uh, hey, which one do you guys want to be for a YouTube video? Go over there so we can do you. So I guess I'm uh, uh, privileged to have an interview for my YouTube, what about YouTube? He's on YouTube. Um, They'll ask you some questions. Kids! Is that okay to take a video with you? Yes. Well, don't look happy about it. Oh my God. Okay, um, my name is Wandering, Wandering Joe, okay? So I have a YouTube channel. Um, I have already like more than a thousand subscribers. But, um, I travel almost all around the world. And thank you very much for allowing me to have an interview with you guys. Um, can you introduce yourself or um, so that we will know far of you? <laughs> uh, my name is Kruger and I'm a United States crew chief and this is... Oh, and, uh, I'm A1C Marin, uh, crew chief as well. Yeah, so you're in the Air Force, right? Yes. So, um, my, my daughter is in the Army, but so I'm confident to ask questions if I can ask uh, also interview. So, um, what is your um, job description here in, in this... Um, our, our so we're both crew chiefs. Uh, our job is uh, general aircraft maintenance on the on the F-15 model specifically. Uh, so we're kind of locked to this aircraft for a while, maybe about three, four years. Uh, but our job is just to make sure that maintenance on this aircraft is done properly uh, on top of the crew and the jet uh, for the pilots just about every day. So we'll be changing tires, adjusting uh, you know hydraulic levels and. Anything that needs to be done that's not, um, I would say, avionics uh, is pretty much our responsibility. So this is like F-15, right? Yeah. Eagle? This Eagle. is F-15 Strike Eagle. Uh, Strike Eagle. Is it still uh, working or, or...? Oh, yeah. Yes. This, air, this airframes are still going to be in service probably for the next eight years until uh -huh. the next model comes out. This is the fourth iteration of the airframe. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so, um, still like uh, deploy in other countries or, or just for the United States? Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, most, of the, most of the airframes here pretty much deploy anywhere year round. Uh, to where, can't really talk about specifics on that, but uh, yeah, these guys are deployable. Uh, okay. So, um, how many pilots is this just to, to, to pilot the, um, how do you call this one? The, um, captain and uh, co-pilot, how do they call it? So the F-15E in particular, along with some of its other models, uh, have two pilots. One is the pilot itself and the weapon, the weapon systems operators, what we refer to as a pistol. Uh, okay, so um, how, how, how many hours does flying time for this aircraft? How, how long does this aircraft fly for? Yes, uh, on, the, uh, on the air. Uh, so, like... It, it depends, yeah. like some uh, some of the routine flies, they can go from like maybe a half hour upwards of two and a half hours. It depends on what they're training for and um, how many other planes they're with, you know, what they're training with. Uh, but um, they can, these jets have a very long life. Some, most of these jets were made in the 80s that we have here. Most of these jets were made in the 80s, so they're old for aircraft, but uh, they're still they're still up and going. Still a formidable aircraft today. Um, do, do we have a new model on this or or new manufactured or this uh, is their own? No, right now, uh, as far as I can tell, uh, this is public knowledge is Boeing is was the primary manufacturer. Uh, motors get a little specific. Another company does that. But that's just about for each air, airframe. And I would say it takes quite a village of, some of aircraft aviation companies to uh, make this a reality. But they don't they don't produce anymore like a brand new, uh, the same model but brand new. Uh, no, so they're not making any more E models. No, they are. Uh, uh, 
but the, a new variation that they'll eventually come out with and make as they update it and make it better. Yeah, this is, the, this is the fifth iteration of the airframe itself, and so the next model, which is the EX, which probably its name will change in the near future, uh, probably might have a different engine, if not stronger engine, uh, but time will tell on that. We won't know that for a while. Um, I have so many questions, but I, I know, guys, you are, you are so busy. And um, thank you very much for taking time with me. Again, can you introduce yourself? And um, um, maybe next week, uh, I'm going to post this in the YouTube. And I'm proud that uh, uh, I'm, I'm proud for your service, for your service. Sir. Thank you, ma'am, for your service. Too. Okay. Well, well, once again, what, what's your rank? And... Uh, I'm A1C Xavier Marin, and uh, I'm a crew chief for the F-15. Yes, and um, you are based here in uh, Seymour Air Force Base. Seymour Johnson right? Air Force Base. And then what, what's, where, where's your home place, if you don't mind? I'm from uh, California. Oh, California. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And how about you? Um, and I am A1C Kruger. I'm stationed here at Seymour Johnson to work on the F-15. And I'm originally from Florida. All right. Thank you so much for your service. I'm so proud of you. Uh, actually, I work in the VA, the uh, Veterans Affairs. And I'm so proud and um, happy for for your young men and uh, women serving our country. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Support. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Yeah. Today we had a few folks come in to uh, Seymour Johnson. Uh, they're going to be doing a show again tomorrow. Uh, but this morning, between a Jelly Belly stunt pilot and um, a couple wing walkers on a biplane, uh, we had a couple of those folks. Or, uh, older generation of aircraft, uh, the biplane being uh, not, not a war machine, but it was still pretty cool. So uh, they were basically daredevils wing walking on top of the airplane as it's flying. Uh, and then we had the Jelly Belly uh, pilot, who's uh, pretty much world renowned and is surprisingly 78 years old, uh, still flying. And he does a lot of tricks that include the, uh, the airplane to appear to fall apart in mid-flight. Uh, and so he does a lot of stunts with that, including landing on a semi-truck bed, which is extremely an impressive feat, because it's about uh, it's 100 feet long, and that's a very short uh, area, a surface area to try and land on. Uh, other than that, we had a F-15, F-16 uh, demonstration as well. Uh, the F-16s are from Shaw Air Force Base, and the F-15s are obviously home station here at Seymour Johnson. Uh, aside from that, there were also an F-22 demonstration. Uh, their demo team came out in an, a uh, an A-6 Sky Raider, which is a Vietnam era uh, attack airplane. Uh, also did a demonstration here today. Uh, aside from that, the last airframe that I will bring up is the F-18 uh, Super Hornet, flown by the Blue Angels today. They did a very long demonstration uh, and it was very cool. They had a lot of flyovers, but it was overall that's that's pretty much what happened today. Yeah, um, those those pilots in Blue Angels are they are still active or? Oh yeah, just... they're they're an active component of their uh, of their branch, but right now they pride themselves on ceremony and performance. So along with the maintainers that fly with them uh, routinely, base to base or anywhere, just about to do a show, uh, those guys are. Uh, still active duty pilots, but they're trained professionals in the area of performance. So they do performances like this all, all around the world. Yeah. Uh, but they're more on uh, air shows, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, they don't have like a uh, go on war or something? Uh, that I'm not too sure. I'm not too knowledgeable on that myself. Ah, uh, okay. But um, how, how, how many times do they perform in a year? Uh, I couldn't even tell you that, but I guarantee you it's well over 100 times in a year. A year? Yeah. Yes. Especially then, at the beginning of a spring, um, for sure. They have the whole entire summer and probably coming up to the fall. Uh, they perform a lot. Uh, okay. But um, only once a year in here in North Carolina, right? Uh, we try, uh, as far as I know, uh, the last time there was an air show was before COVID-19. So. Uh, they'll probably come back here at some point. I can't tell you that they'll be back here next year and I have the Thunderbirds or someone else. Uh, but uh, these guys make their rounds pretty much everywhere.
Okay, let me talk about uh, Thunderbird and uh, how, how do you com uh, compare them to Blue Angels? Well, as an airman in the United States Air Force, uh, personally, I think the Thunderbirds are a lot better. Uh, around us, they have the nickname Thunder Chickens, but that's just a thing. That's yeah. just uh, maintainers being maintained. <laughs> but uh, overall, them versus each other, F-18s and the F-16, uh, both superior aircraft, uh, not as much as the F-15, uh, but when it comes to their shows, I probably pride myself in saying that the Thunderbirds do a, a lot of work. So uh, Thunderbirds use uh, F-16? Yep. And then the Blue Angels are using um, F-18, right? Yep. So which one is uh, uh, new, the new, new, new model? Is the 16 or uh, the 18? The varying models, uh, both of them came into service and had their maiden flight within the same decade. And I want to say that was uh, mid-70s for both of them. Uh, so I think they're about the same age of each other. So probably wow. about uh, maybe 49, 48 years old. Uh, the airframe itself, uh, the models may vary because every it seems like every six years we come out with a different model of it. But there's no um, restriction, right? Uh, if if the Navy can use the F-16 and also the Air Force uh, can that, use that, that is a very different thing. Because uh, if you if you're able to see an F-18, you'll look at the struts and how they're made for uh, landing on aircraft carriers. Our struts are not made for that uh, because. Compared to us, we're landing on the earth. They are landing on a ship, bouncing in the middle of the ocean. So uh, we could probably, they could probably cross train uh, or train in an F-16, but uh, typically Navy aviators don't really fly F-16s. Ah, uh, okay. But what, what's the new model now for the F uh, fighter? Uh, the, for the Viper, for the F-16 Viper. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they're making another model of it. Model. I know so, our NATO allies have different variants that have CFTs on it, uh, okay. um, and probably have different capabilities that are outfitted for different missions, mission sets and whatnot. Uh, but I don't think there's a, a newer model of an F-16 that's come out recently. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, I'm so uh, privileged to have you talk to you. And um, again, uh, I might be here tomorrow, and then. Uh, well, I hope you come out because uh, they're gonna. You hopefully when you come out, the weather is a lot nicer in the morning, so that way you can see everything right off the bat. Okay. Yes. So um, after here, uh, after the show tomorrow would be the last day for the show, right? Oh yeah, so, tomorrow's uh, the last day. You, you go back to the. Um, uh, do you stay here in the camp or outside the camp? Oh yeah, uh, I'll be back here working, uh, going back to work. It'll, it'll be a normal week after this. After this, yeah. right, right, right. But I'm, I'm surprised so many people came today, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's a big number. Maybe tomorrow it's bigger yeah. because some people like... Um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, but it's really hard to uh, find a parking <laughs> this <morning>. yeah yeah, <laughs> so. yeah that, that is the thing parking is always something uh, yes. no matter where you go but yeah. air shows attract a, a good amount of people so yes. I, yes. I would expect that yeah. yes. and um, um, your regular uh, working days is Monday to Friday or you have uh, for, or for us we're pretty much on the, on the job 24/7. Uh, so we're obviously allowed to go home and sleep and enjoy ourselves for a little bit, but we typically our hours, especially us as maintainers, vary. All right. Um, maybe I can um, make another questions. <laughs> Prepare for many questions tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. No Once again, um, yep. one of our uh, service. Uh, who sacrifice themselves for our country and I'm proud of them for their service. Thank you sir for your service again. No problem sir. So I just have a um, privilege to interview one of the crew's first crew here of F-15 Eagle. So this is a fighter uh, aircraft still working as uh, the staff uh, explain so this is how it looks. So this is a uh, F-15 Eagle uh, model. So if I have um, chance, then I have I can um, 
go inside and look at this. We have uh, in a line uh, to go inside. And um, so happy for those young and women serving our.